cringe. Hello and welcome or welcome back to Actually Let's Talk About It with me, your host, Lily, and y'all. Today is finally the day where I get to sit down and react to Money Long's Made For Me official music video and also revisit, well, react for the first time, but the performance itself is old. It's from the BET Soul Train Awards from last year, but I never got around to watching it. But we're going to get into the Made For Me Feels He Wrote, the... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the made for me official music video first and then the made for me BET Soul Train Awards performance because this woman deserves all her flowers she has worked so hard and I've been on put on to her for the hours and hours song and I'm like because I really love that song it was my ringtone for the longest time and I'm, I'm like I love that song nobody could ever tell me convince me otherwise it is that song and I'm so glad I won a Grammy as well and I love how she spent so much of her life writing for other people that now she is getting her just dues as an independent artist writing for herself. And I love that for a Black woman who has spent time being a pillar for other people to feed into herself and get herself to this point. It's a big ass deal. And that can never be something that's taken away from her. And that's it and that's all. Okay, like she said, it's made for her. Period. Okay, I'm like, um, I haven't heard the song on the way through, but I'm assuming that that's why it's called Made For Me. Could be about something else though, but I'm gonna use it for this situation too. But we are gonna get straight into this music video, but before we do, we are going to have a Black History moment. It's gonna be in the form of a quote from Mr. Martin Luther King, actually Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And this quote is a little bit different, okay? It says here, and I quote, Okay, regarding the endless battles, you know, that were going on at the time and are still present today in 2024. He said, our only hope today lies in our ability to recapture the revolutionary spirit and go into a sometimes hostile world, declaring eternal hostility to poverty, racism, and militarism. Let me say that again. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said this, our only hope today lies in our ability to recapture the revolutionary spirit and go out into a sometimes hostile world declaring eternal hostility to poverty, racism, and militarism. Dr. Martin Luther King, y'all. Dr. Martin Luther King said that. He said that, okay? And now we're going to go into our moment of solidarity with the indigenous people all around the world, specifically in Congo, in Palestine, in Sudan, and in Yemen. We all know about the genocide going on, the ethnic cleansing going on in these regions. And just know that me, this channel, and my Patreon stand in complete and utter solidarity with the indigenous people, AKA, the Congolese people, Palestinians in Palestine, because it is Palestine. <laughs> it is Palestine. Regardless of whatever settler colony thinks it's going to be in the midst of Palestine, it is still Palestine. The indigenous people of Sudan and the indigenous people of Yemen. This channel will always be, I will always be, and my Patreon will always be for free Congo, for a free Palestine for a free Sudan and for a free Yemen. And if you need to know more about what's going on, I highly suggest you click on the links in the bio and get you some education. Cause I consciously says education is elevation and you really need to put in the work. Cause at this point you could just look at my old videos for reference. It will be long explanations, but it's at the point we 120 days into what's been happening in Gaza. People have known about what's happening in Congo in correlation with what's happening in Gaza. People are finding out about what's happening in Sudan in correlation with what's happening in Gaza. And people are finding out what's happening in Yemen in correlation with Gaza. So you can educate yourself. You have to want to know the truth in order to find it and to see it. And you just got to choose truth. You have to choose righteousness or else those things will never come to you. 
And that's it and that's all. And now we're going to do our patron shout out. So the first patron shout out is God to Genoveva. The second patron shout out is God to Clover Me. The third patron shout out is God to Amethyst. The fourth patron shout out is God to Shayaka. And the fifth and final patron shout out is God to Red Clouds. And I do want to thank you all so much for your support on the Patreon. It really does mean the world to me. And yeah, y'all, without further ado, we are going to get straight into these two videos from Money Long. And just see. I can't wait. Because I've seen the TikTok challenges, y'all. I've seen them. I love them. It's beautiful, especially when the kids be doing it. I love us, the people. I love us as black people, y'all. We we do the most. And I love that about us. Okay? Come on now. Miss Mamas. Come on. A Desk Gray film? Okay, come on now. Directed by Desk Gray and Trinidad James. Alrighty then. Starring Miss Money Long. Mrs. Money Long, come on now. Luke James! What? Who is this man? Come on. I thought I was immune. Ooh. Looking around this room. Mm. Can't help but see the traces of you. This moment is surreal. Mm. I can't put in the words how I feel alone. Twin. Mm. Where have you been? Nobody knows me like you do. Nobody gon' love me. Nobody like me. Come on. So wonderful to see Luke though. Come on now, Miss Money, you know what we needed. It ain't every day that I get in my feelings this way. I know it was real. Because people do what I never did care. Don't know what I would do. You got a whole nother family? If I had to go on without you What? Twin Oh no Where have, have you been? been? Oh, she kidnapped him. What? Who made Is she the problem? What? What, what? Uh, uh, what? Miss Mail? Miss Mail? What, what, it, what? What, what? Okay, uh, yeah. So was he ever real? What it what y'all what? Oh, was Luke James a real human being or was he a robot this whole time that was literally made for her by her or did she kidnap him robotize him so he could be made for her y'all this is give us some Will Smith I robot some Kehlani nights like this music video stuff what the hell because what? You go, you, that is so open-ended. I need the Lord to continue into another music video. Because I want to see. Is Homeboy real? It was so lovely to see Luke James though. Because I miss him as Noah on Star. <laughs> I do. I really do. But this song. Psh, well she said nobody knows me like you do. 
twin. Where have you been? Mm, okay, I'm like, come on now, Miss Money, Miss Money, don't play, don't play. We got, we got to get into this live performance because I know she was cutting it up on a live. Come on now. Okay, I knew it was him. I was like, is that Jermaine Dupree? I didn't want to say it, but yeah, he introduced himself. Come on now. Yes. I can't put in the words how I Come on. Come on now. Where have you been? Nobody knows me like you do. Come on. Nobody like you. Yeah, you were made for me. Come on. She better get a Grammy for this. And that's all I'm going to say. Because what? Twin. Where have you been? Now I see why they're making TikTok challenges. Because this came out all last year on her EP. And I hadn't gotten around to listening to it. It was on my list. And I'm like, as soon as I saw the title, I'm like, I need to listen to this. I feel like it's going to be another hours and hours. And I just saw off of the title. Okay? But this... Shh. Body to body, skin to skin. I'm never gonna love like this again. Please, please, please. Don't play with her pen. Okay, don't play with her pen. Mrs. Money Long. Her pen is so absolutely impeccable. It does not make any earthly sense. I'm just like, this woman can write from hours and hours to every song before that, in between, and here for Made For Me. This is something else. This is something else. And I love to see black women in music representing and getting their flowers and their just due because we all know the bullshit that black women have to face in regular occupations, just regular nine to fives. Magnify that by infinity in the entertainment industry. And she has even said the people that she wrote for made hit songs for when it was her time to shine and be in the spotlight couldn't even return her call after she helped you write your hits you could not come to her aid to feature on one of hers really but she didn't need you but she didn't need you it wasn't your blessing to have it was for her and her alone and that's why you didn't answer that call that's why you didn't respond to that text because a black woman does not need you if you don't want to be down for her the way she's been down for you if you don't want to be a pillar for her and a support sister for her but she has been that for you forget you or actually fuck you okay because mrs money long gonna be all right with or without you and it's even greater because you didn't want to help hmm okay please she she's just destined she's already a grammy winner okay been that she's already a phenomenal songwriter already a phenomenal lyricist a phenomenal vocalist both in the studio and live it's impeccable the story she tells, the music video she does, the live performances that she does. Okay? 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 Because before this, it was plot twists. And I was like, what? I was so shocked by that performance, that live stage. I'm like, what? What are we? In a different last name, what ma'am? Run, run it back? Two kids and a wife? What? I was like, what in the film? What in the play? Black play is this? Because y'all, okay? So don't ever play with Mrs. Money Long. You better act like you know and know what you're talking about when you're speaking on her name, okay? And when people stupidly say some dumb shit like R&B is dead, I'm like, for you? 
Or, because, be for real. And the fact that it was a whole ass black man that said that, I'm like, sir, what? R&B can't be dead. It has always been. It will always be. You acting like Jasmine Sullivan, um, Money Long, her, Giveon, J to name a few, Ari Lennox don't exist. Like, the f what? Be fucking for real. But you know, you know, because we all stupid people saying stupid shit, playing these dumbass reindeer games on R&B's name, let artists like Money Long be a strong reminder. It's very much alive and well, honey, and in great hands. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. Okay, for real. I'm like, this is wonderful. I'm so... I can't wait to react to her full album with this song on it because this woman never misses and I need to revisit. I need to revisit her old albums and get the, into these new ones because mm, I need to get into it. Y'all, that is the end of the reaction. Y'all stayed all the way until the end. I want to thank you so much for watching. And if you're watching this video on YouTube and you're a subscriber on the channel, once again, thank you so much for being a subscriber. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you have yet to subscribe to the channel, do not forget to do so if you would like to support the channel further. And you know, as always, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching and subscribing. And last but most definitely not least, thank you to the lovely patrons on Patreon. Your support, y'all, it means the world. And I do appreciate y'all so very much. And until the next reaction, y'all, I will see y'all then. Bye.